In PixInsight, the process windows are independent from all the other graphical elements. This means that when we open one of these windows, we can still click on and access all the other elements on the screen. The process windows are divided vertically into different sections. The Image Integration window is a good example of this. It has many different options, and if we open all the dropdowns, it will be too long for the screen. We should therefore only open the sections we need, so that we can configure the parameters required. The process windows have the two usual buttons in the upper right corner. The Close button and the Shade button, which rolls the window up into its title bar so it takes up very little space in the workspace. To make it easier to configure the tools, at PixInsight we've developed auto-complete functions that can be performed by dragging and dropping. For example, in Image Integration we always need to select the list of input images. We normally do this using the Add Files button. We select these three images here and add them but we can also add the files via File Explorer. By pressing Control and selecting the three images, dragging them, and dropping them in the Input Images field. In Image Integration, we can also add normalization files and drizzle files. Once we've added them, the letters N and D appear here. This is all much easier to do via File Explorer. We simply select all the files and drag them all to the Input Images field. In a single step, we've added all the images as well as the drizzle and normalization files. There are other tools where we need to fill out fields referring to specific images. For example, in Color Calibration, we need a reference view for the white reference and another for the background reference. We can configure this easily if we drag and drop the preview selectors. For this image, we've selected the spiral galaxy as the white reference and an adjacent area on the background as the background reference. If we go to the first preview with the galaxy, we can click on the selector, then drag and drop it in the Reference Image field. We can drop it when the plus sign appears next to the cursor. Now we do the same with the background reference. Color calibration can also work with regions of interest, where instead of referring to images and image previews, it refers only to areas of the image with specific coordinates. We can easily configure these areas of interest by dragging the previews onto the process window. To select the view selectors more easily, we can press and hold the control key. This way, we only need to click once because the image window will continue to show the main view. Once the plus sign appears next to the cursor, we can drop it. This time, the plus sign appears when we hover the cursor anywhere in this part of the window. Now we do the same with the preview of the background. There are various buttons at the bottom of the process windows. The first is the Reset button, to reset the process. Some tools have a Preferences button, and other tools have the Track View button. In the Histogram Transformation window, to see an image's histogram, we have to select that image from here. If we want to change the histogram view, we have to select it again. We can make this easier by selecting Track View. Track View always synchronizes with the active image, if we switch to a different active image, the process window automatically switches to the histogram of the image we want. This works with the previews, too. And we can enable track view in several process windows at the same time. The only button in the statistics window is the track view button. This is because this tool's only function is to calculate and display the statistics of a given image. If both track view buttons are active, the two tools update at the same time. Finally, the process windows also have a Browse Documentation button to access the documentation for each tool.